The Impact of Online Comments, a Duolingo Case Study. Introduction. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Our discussion will focus on the impact of harmful online comments on average citizens, particularly analyzing the actions of a Reddit moderator, George the Funny One, within the Duolingo subreddit. We will explore how these comments affect individuals relying on platforms like Duolingo for personal and educational development and propose actionable steps, including the removal of the current moderation team responsible for perpetuating these harmful comments. Background on the Russia-Ukraine conflict. To provide context, we must acknowledge the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. This conflict began in 2014 with the annexation of Crimea and significantly escalated in 2022, leading to severe geopolitical tensions and a humanitarian crisis. The war has caused numerous civilian casualties, displacement of millions, and widespread destruction. Today, we maintain a neutral stance, focusing on the human aspect of these events and the importance of empathy and understanding. Online discourse and moderation. Online platforms like Reddit have become essential for discussing global issues, including the Russia-Ukraine conflict. While these discussions can raise awareness, they can also devolve into harmful rhetoric if not properly moderated. Moderators play a crucial role in maintaining respectful discourse. However, when they engage in or permit harmful comments, it can have serious negative impacts. Our case study will focus on the actions of the moderator George the Funny One on the Duolingo subreddit. Analysis of George the Funny One's comments. Let's delve into specific comments made by George the Funny One. For example, the statement, no Western business should be doing any business in Russia while Russia is trying to wage a genocide in Ukraine, makes a sweeping generalization that unfairly targets all Russian citizens. Another comment, fuck Russia, is overtly hostile and dismissive of an entire nation's people. These remarks fail to differentiate between government actions and individual citizens, many of whom do not support their government's policies. Such comments not only perpetuate harmful stereotypes, but also alienate and demoralize individuals striving to improve their lives. Impact on average Russian citizens. The impact of broad generalizations and hostile comments on average Russian citizens is significant. Consider a Russian individual using Duolingo to learn English for better job prospects or to seek asylum. Encountering such hostile comments can be deeply demoralizing and distressing. It unfairly assigns blame to individuals who have no control over their government's actions and who may themselves be victims of these policies. This additional layer of distress and alienation can have profound psychological impacts, further exacerbating their already challenging situations. Educational and personal development uses of Duolingo. Duolingo serves as more than just a language learning app. It is a vital resource for many individuals living in oppressive regimes. It provides tools for learning new languages, which can open doors to better job opportunities, higher education, and even asylum in safer countries. These success stories highlight the crucial role Duolingo plays in personal and educational development, particularly in regions with limited opportunities. The shutdown of the Duolingo subreddit. The comments and debates in the Duolingo subreddit led the moderators, including George the Funny One, to shut down the subreddit for 27 hours. This was a response to Duolingo having to comply with Russian censorship laws prohibiting the promotion of LGBT propaganda. Unfortunately, Duolingo cannot operate in Russia without adhering to these laws. Additionally, Duolingo does not receive any money from Russian users. The app, including its premium version, is free for Russian users due to sanctions related to the war, which have rendered Russian payment methods unusable. This situation highlights the complexity of operating in such an environment and underscores how the moderator's abuse of power only exacerbates these challenges. Broader implications of insulting comments. The implications of comments like those from George the Funny One extend beyond the immediate online community. 
Such remarks can perpetuate hate, xenophobia, and discrimination. They can discourage companies from offering their services in regions where they are most needed, further isolating individuals in these areas. If a platform like Duolingo is perceived as hostile to Russian users, it might deter these individuals from using the service, thereby limiting their opportunities for personal and professional growth. Our words online have real-world consequences, and it is imperative that we use them responsibly to build bridges rather than create divides. The Responsibility of Moderators Moderators have a critical responsibility to shape the tone and culture of online communities. They are entrusted with fostering an inclusive and respectful environment. When moderators engage in harmful rhetoric, it sets a negative example and legitimizes such behavior among community members. Moderators must uphold the highest standards of empathy, respect, and professionalism. Their actions should reflect a commitment to creating a safe space for all users, regardless of their nationality or background. The failure of moderators like George the Funny One to maintain this standard damages the integrity of the community and undermines its mission. Impact of insulting comments on Russia and the Middle East. It's essential to highlight how George the Funny One's comments insult not only individuals, but also entire regions like Russia and the Middle East. By labeling these regions as bigoted, he disregards the diverse cultures and populations within them, insulting over a billion people and perpetuating harmful stereotypes. This behavior contributes to a toxic online environment and undermines efforts to foster understanding and cooperation across borders. Quotes from the community. Here are some quotes from community members that highlight the broader sentiment regarding this issue. Seth Taros, the Russian government is doing bad things so the citizens shouldn't have access to this educational tool. Lamaquaqueduct, the Russian government is bad so we should pressure Duolingo to stop offering English lessons to Russian citizens, effectively cutting Russians off from a valuable tool of connecting with the free internet. Russian Zoomer 2004, I'm Russian and I can say Duolingo is perfect. I mean, when the war started and we lost any ability to make international payments, they just turned on premium mode for all the Russian users. J77 Pixels, I am also kind of shocked how much people agree with the moderation team, despite the fact that there is ostensibly no income coming from operating in Russia. Duo just wants learning to be free to all, which most people here don't seem to grasp. Conclusion In conclusion, it is evident that harmful online comments, particularly those made by moderators like George the Funny One, have far-reaching consequences. These comments not only impact individuals on a personal level, but also contribute to broader societal issues such as discrimination and prejudice. It is imperative that we hold moderators accountable for their actions and work towards creating a more respectful and inclusive online community. Proposal Implementation To address this issue, we propose the removal of the current moderation team responsible for perpetuating harmful comments. By taking decisive action, we can send a clear message that such behavior will not be tolerated and reaffirm our commitment to fostering a positive and supportive online environment. Closing remarks. Once again, thank you for joining us today. Together, we can make a difference in combating harmful online behavior and creating a safer and more inclusive online community. Let's continue this journey towards a more respectful and empathetic online environment.